So I wanted to make this video because I had previously tried this uh, skip and failed. And I don't feel completely horrible about that because uh, it's from the speedrunning community and I've seen people in the speedruns fail at it, so I don't feel completely bad about failing. And I don't know why I failed. I never figured that one out. But I thought I'd give it another go. And I started from the beginning just to give some sense of how long it takes. And the reason I'm sneaking here is because if you stay in stealth, uh, it prevents a ton of enemies from spawning. And they just waste a lot of time and are kind of a distraction. Although, you know, I can... As a gang girl and pretty much any clan here, these people don't do any damage, so you can just ignore them and run past them. There isn't really any need to be killing them. Or fighting them. Then this door here, I get the timing all wrong, so it's keep bumping the NPC apparently and he gets reset in his traffic pattern and I, I don't know the hundred percent this mechanic of the stealth and when you break it and when you have to keep it and what what causes it to spawn and all that stuff I know that in different patches they have different code and uh not just a little different, but like wildly different. But uh, this is uh, 10.4 basic as a reference. And this is the actual skip. I just need somebody to notice me. And I'm not sure if you can see, but in the hallway that I, you can see near the top of the door that guy's head and I'm thinking, He'll notice me, but oh, this guy on the opposite side did. So that's all I need. Now I'm looking down that hallway again. This time it's kind of in the middle of the door. There I see the two guys go down the hallway. So now I, they should just pop out in this door that I'm looking at. So I just need to wait for them. They have graciously opened the door for me. So kind, so kind. And again, as a gang girl, I can just run past them. Although, as any clan, you should be able to run past them because they do virtually zero damage. And now I just have a free shot at, at, at the next, next level. And then in the UP, they have this these two doors unlocked. So you, I can do this thing here with the uh, trap comes in super handy kind of exploit the trap and cut them off <laughs> so they can't ever get to me another thing interesting about this game is like even though it looks like you can see and the NPCs can't see beyond the room they're in so uh, you know if, <laughs> if you want to exploit that you can just take one step back from the doorway and even though it looks like they could be two feet away from you and looking straight at you and they can't see you <laughs> it's it's an okay illusion as long as you don't know that <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have said that and uh, so we've completed the skip and I'm just gonna go on to do uh, one set of statues here just to show kind of how long it takes and how to do it. And again, I come in and stealth um, because I'm not, again, 100% sure about the mechanics. And here, it kind of gets messy. It goes good for this person. It's because of the way I've come in and maintained stealth, um, there's only three of these guys, so I just want to get them out of the way. So I'm, and then, and then 
bothered by them running around. But uh, in retrospect, this gets kind of messy, and I should have just blood buffed to begin with. That would have saved me a lot of time of messing around, but I suppose everybody's a genius in hindsight. <laughs> So now that they're out of the way, I'm free to roam about, do my thing in peace. No more will spawn. And but like I said, once you trigger the spawning, there's no way to stop it. They just they'll be spawned in the entryway there. Uh, but they won't respawn. There'll just be more of them to mess with. And uh, I can't avoid the, I mean, I can't avoid those, uh, cro or ignore those crossbows, the flaming ones with complete impunity. They, uh, they do enough damage for me to notice, so, you know. There's another clan. You might want to be more cir circumspect with how you do this, but every clan has their uh, disciplines that makes this easy. You know, every clan has their advantages and disadvantages. So like I said, I'm only going to do the one because doing the other set isn't going to take that much time from here. And it's just more of the same of doing this. So anyway, that was what I wanted to show. So hopefully that was interesting and useful, maybe. And thanks for watching.